So let's talk about orgasm as medicine and how orgasm can reduce chronic symptoms. So persistent sensations within us that we resist, don't like, want to get rid of, we abnormalize ourselves, they fall into these chronic pain, chronic symptom categories. We have the potential to reverse those. So we can transmute pain into pleasure if we have the skill set. So I want to talk a little bit about why orgasm is a really powerful place of exploration. It's a self-exploration. You don't need a partner. And it's it really works from a window of tolerance and neurological perspective. So let's say you have chronic pain or tinnitus or dizziness or some kind of anxiety that is looping and it's bothering you. It's chronic. At some level, your, you've decided or your body and brain have decided to disconnect and to not stay present with that felt sensation. So it's so painful and so difficult that, that we've rejected it and said, no, get rid of it. I don't want it. Give me medicine. Give me a doctor. Give me an expert. And so neurologically or from a neurochemistry point of view, the fear response and the fight, flight, freeze, fawn trauma response to that sensation is causing a cascade of stress chemicals, adrenaline, cortisol, etc. And we all do this, okay? So it's normal. And for a short amount of time, it's actually very healthy. We just don't want to live in that chronically. So how do we transmute the pain and the fear response into a pleasure response? Well, when we direct loving attention with awe, reverence, respect, kindness, curiosity toward that exact same sensation, whether it's pain, anxiety, tinnitus, dizziness, whatever, any uncomfortable, intense sensation, when we can draw our gaze inwards and direct loving, respect, reverence and awe and say, wow, okay, something's going on in my body. I'm going to trust this. I'm going to feel into it. I'm going to give it all of my loving attention. I'm going to open up into this experience and I'm going to participate in it. I'm going to experience it fully. I'm not going to give it some of me. I'm not going to judge myself. I'm not going to shame myself. I'm not going to doubt myself. I'm going to fully show up and feel this pain. What happens is we're doing the opposite of the trauma response, the fight, flight, freeze, fawn. So instead of those stress chemicals, what happens is we release the love drug chemicals, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin. We get a biochemical shift because of our relationship to that moment of meeting the sensation. So when we respond to ourselves with fear, fight, flight, freeze, fawn, when we reject what we feel, we get the pain response and the stress chemicals. When we choose to lovingly move in toward ourselves with compassion, kindness, reverence, respect, and awe, we get the love drug chemical response. So we physiologically change the experience. Where orgasm comes into this is the more intensity there is in an experience, the more neurons firing, okay? The more neural arousal. And at some point we shut down. We're like, whoa, this is too much. I don't want to feel it. And we shut down. And in order to experience more of life, to build our resilience, to be stronger and to think clearly, we want to build that window of tolerance so we can handle more pain and we can handle more pleasure. Pain and pleasure are both arousal. Pain comes with fear. Pleasure comes with love. Loving attention or a fear response. If you wish to practice and play around with your window of tolerance, so you want to expand your window of tolerance so you can stay present with your body, to breathe through and feel what you feel with more intense waves washing over you and through you, one way to build your attention is to build your window of tolerance for pleasure through orgasm. So you can practice your self-pleasuring techniques in any way, you know, literally massaging the body, being with all of your senses, so the taste, smell, touch, sound, sight, anything that pleases you and through your sensuality and sexuality, as you begin to notice the subtle waves of pleasure entering your body and you're saying yes to it and you're feeling it, you can build those waves up until you get more and more and more and more intense arousal that you're saying yes to and the, the pleasure's building and you're not yet shutting down. 
when we climax in orgasm, it's a shutdown. So climax is actually when the body says, whoa, too much. I can't handle any more arousal. So the, the body shuts down. So interestingly, climax is, is a deadening. Climax is the end of our aliveness and pleasure. So part of this exploration is not searching for climax, but exploring how much arousal and intensity you can embody and stay present with and breathe through And keep that going. Keep that saying yes to it. I, I'm, I'm willing to feel it. I'm willing to feel it. I'm willing to feel it. You're practicing keeping your attention on your body. You're practicing breathing through what you feel. And you're practicing strengthening your pleasure response and all of those love drug chemicals. You're marinating in them. This dramatically helps to transition chronic symptoms because we're getting all of those skills we need of drawing loving attention in toward bodily sensation, which means we're reversing that habit of turning away from bodily sensation, which is the trauma response of fight, flight, freeze, fawn. So by having an intentional home practice of orgasm exploration or orgasmic meditation on, by exploring these things for yourself, you are building the skills you need to transmute pain to pleasure, to overcome chronic symptoms. So I hope this has been useful for you. And to explore more, visit seekingbalance.com.au. We talk a lot about desired sensations and how to harness all of these skills so that no matter what the day brings you or what life throws in your face, you have the skills and the resilience to stay present with yourself, to acknowledge what you're feeling, to breathe through all the various types of arousal and to build your window of tolerance so that you can stay clear thinking and participate fully in your own experience without having to give your power away and goose chase for answers in the outer world because you're so exhausted and stuck in pain. So seekingbalance.com.au, I've got many communities. I've got a free community you can join And then I have my rock steady and sensing ground communities. So take a look and I'd love to see you in there. Bye for now.